Question 5. An electron and a proton have the same the same de Broglie wavelength. Which subatomic particle has the greatest kinetic energy? Okay, so we know that kinetic energy is equal to half m v squared. But now, since we are talking about wavelength, we have to use the formula of kinetic energy yang ada relationship with the wavelength. Okay, so the only formula that we know that has a relationship with the wavelength is the de Broglie wavelength formula, which is lambda equal to 2 m e v. So you, now you may ask, where is kinetic energy is gonna? Where is the kinetic energy in this formula? So we know that kinetic energy is also equal to e v. So when we substitute lambda here to m k, so we have an expression that is like this. So now we want k to be the subject. So that we arrange lah, uh, it's gonna be two m k h over. The wavelength. So since sekarang ni ada square root, so bila square root, uh, square root di sini pindah pergi sebelah dia akan jadi square. So di sini dia akan ada square lah for each of these uh, and uh, variables uh, for each of these variables. Okay. So since kita mau dia kinetic energy je, so kita letaklah k di depan. So it's gonna be h square two m lambda square. Okay. Macam tu. So sekarang kita sudah ada. Uh, formula that relates kinetic energy with the wavelength. Okay, so sekarang ni dia cakap electron dengan proton have the same wavelength. So sekarang dia tanya, which one will have the greatest kinetic energy? So since uh, lambda is going to be constant, h is also constant, we are looking at the mass. Okay, so mass of the particle. So apa yang kita boleh tengok di sini is, uh, if the mass of the particle is less, the kinetic energy will be greater. So, sekarang ni kita tengok lah. Which of, uh, which one? We, uh, electron ke proton yang heavier? So, we're gonna see, see it that way lah. So, we know that the mass of proton is 1.67 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kilogram. Whereas, electron is 9.11 times 10 negative 31 kilogram. So, kalau kamu tengok di sini, which one yang? Greater. Um, right. So obviously, from this number here, we know that mass of proton is greater than mass of electron. So what we can say is the kinetic energy of electron is greater than kinetic energy of proton. Hence, uh, electron has the greatest kinetic energy. Okay. Or you can also do the uh, do the ratio lah. Kamu boleh buat ratio of kinetic energy of electron over kinetic energy of proton. Okay, so kalau kamu tengok yang ni, kamu akan dapat mass of proton, mass of electron. Okay, so if you do that, uh, you'll then get the ratio of the kinetic energy. So let me just do that quickly. A mass of proton is 1.67, negative 27, divided by 9.11, negative 31. So you'll get 1833.15. Meaning to say the kinetic energy of electron is 1833.15 greater than the kinetic energy of proton. Okay, macam tu lah. Kamu boleh nampak macam ni. Okay, so that is question A. Next, calculate the ratio of the electrons kinetic energy to the kinetic energy of proton. So, sekarang kita perlu calculate the kinetic energy. Eh, yang saya buat tadi lah tu. Okay, so this one is basically the ratio of kinetic energy of electron. To the kinetic energy of proton. So, kamu akan dapat yang ini. So, this is the ratio lah. 1.83 times 10 to the power 3. Ataupun kamu letaknya je lah. Okay, so that is question number 5.